In today's video, I'm gonna show you a complete transformation. These are my garden beds from last year and they were a total disaster. Having well-defined beds is one of the best ways you can transform your landscaping. You don't need any special or crazy tools. You don't need the strength of Hercules, just one shovel and a little bit of know-how and you can end up with beds that look exactly like this. And if you've watched my channel for a while, you will be seeing some of the same tips I've used before, but in most videos, it's difficult to show that true before and after. When is the perfect time to edge your beds? Well, the answer might surprise you. You'll wanna do this job right after a rainstorm when your soil is damp. That will allow the soil to stay together. You don't wanna dry and crumbly. That will make the job an absolute disaster. Next, you're gonna need the perfect tool for the job. And the good news is you wanna skip all of those fancy edging tools. I don't like using half moon edgers. I don't recommend using an electric edger. And you do not wanna use your string trimmer for establishing your garden beds. All you'll need is a straight edge shovel or spade like this one. This is a model made by Fiskars, cost $35, and it is absolutely phenomenal. This fancy Ace of Spade shovel costing $120 is really good, but you do not need anything like this for this job, and it won't give you any better results. Start by mowing your lawn so you can get an idea of where you want the edges of the bed to be. Now, if you think I'm gonna break out spray paint, laser levels, or lines, you're not gonna need any of that stuff. You've got eyes, so when you're done, take a look at your work. If you're not happy with the results, it's very easy to make minor adjustments. All you're looking to do here is to define the rough edge to the bed. I'll show you at the end how you really trim it up and give it that final polished look. Now, if you're seeing this for the first time, you're probably gonna think I'm nuts, but I have literally edged miles of beds using this technique. It works very well and takes very little energy. Don't get tempted to go into the bed. At this point, all you're looking to do is ride the line around the edge of the bed. So you're gonna be putting your shovel in almost completely straight down. But the trick is, put that shovel in at an angle. You just want the point to do the cutting. Now remember, because you waited for that soil to be a little bit wet, this will go in so much easier. And yes, you are gonna look a little bit like Hopalong Cassidy doing this, but I can tell you this works absolutely perfectly and it is super easy on your body. There's no impact, you're not banging that shovel in and that's the key. And these are shots of my old house doing the same edging technique. You can see exactly how I place the shovel. Put it in an angle, you kinda keep your foot pressed onto it and then pull along with the handle as you go. You will be able to trace this line probably as far as you want in your yard. Now with your outer edge defined, you need to go in and make your back cut. You're gonna put the shovel in at about a 45 degree angle and you'll jam it into the pieces because all you're really doing here is connecting those two cuts together. These pieces of grass will easily come out. And some of you might be surprised to see that I'm making that straight cut right on the edge of the lawn. But in my experience, that is the best way to edge your beds. Not only does it make them look better, it will also help contain the mulch that I'm gonna to add to the bed later. And it definitely gives a much better finished look. Next, you'll need to clean up all of those pieces of sod, but here's another really great tip. You don't want to do it on the same day because remember that soil was wet. That means those pieces are gonna be super heavy. Leave them exactly where they are in the bed. Give it a day or more. Once they dry out, they're gonna weigh about 70% less. So when you pick them up with your shovel or even a rake, they're gonna be so much easier to move around. And while it may be tempting, don't leave those pieces of sod in the bed. They will eventually take root and you'll have grass growing in there and that's just gonna make the problem a lot worse. You wanna spend the time, put them in a wheelbarrow, clean them up, use them in other parts of your yard or even as fill. Next, you'll wanna de-weed your beds, remove any plants that shouldn't be in there. Now, in my case, I had a load of them, so it definitely took me a long time to get them out, but then you'll wanna break out a rake and smooth it all out. This is super important. Many people at this stage will just throw mulch down, and they don't realize that mulch is just gonna mirror what you have going on underneath. And if you've seen this rake in my videos before, it's not a surprise, because this groundskeeper is perfect for getting all of this area looking good. This is also the time you wanna make any adjustments. Step back and take a look at the beds. If they don't look even or if they're at rough edges, go ahead and take the shovel and make some small adjustments. It'll really make a big difference. And with the mulch down, we're ready to complete the final step that will give them that ultra razor sharp edge we're all looking for. This is the time that you'll wanna break out your string trimmer. Now I just made a video about a brand new trimmer that I'm really a big fan of, but you can use any model that you already own or that you're comfortable with because your string trimmer is the perfect tool for keeping your beds looking like this, but you've gotta begin with the shovel if you wanna have those hard looking edges. You won't need to use that shovel again until next year. And even then, the job will be that much easier because you won't be starting with a complete mess. In fact, some years, if it's been a mild winter, you might be able to get by by just using your string trimmer. But once you've started with that shovel, you will always use it if you wanna make your beds look the very best they can. And if you think these beds look a little light, it's still early spring. These things need to develop leaves, the flowers will grow, and things can fill in a lot better because now they don't have all those weeds competing in the same space. 
And that brings us to today's sponsor, Just Answer. This is a monthly subscription service that connects you to licensed and certified professionals around the country. You can ask anything you want. I pose this question about trees. What happens if one of your neighbor's trees falls into your yard? What legally happens? Do you have to pay to clean it up? Is it their responsibility? And can you even take care of the tree or prune it? They'll get the right person to give you a legal and dependable answer and that can make all the difference when you're looking for help. If you'd like to check them out, I've put a link in the description and you can see what the service is all about and how it can help you as a homeowner.